If you're an investor right now, you might just be like me looking at the market for the next Tesla, Apple, or Amazon. And to do that, a common strategy is to look into startups in the next growing sector. In the booming EV space right now, there are multiple EV startups trying to break into the market. EV sales is projected to reach 5 million in annual sales by 2030. Cities and countries are already placing bans on ICE cars in the coming years, which will push many people into switching into EVs. But as an investor, we are chasing incredible returns, which comes with risk. Lucid, Rivian, and Neo are already some of the most well-known EV companies in the market, but I like to look for relatively overlooked stocks lying under most people's radar. And upon my research, I have landed on three EV startups that met my investment criteria at the time. They are either undervalued, innovative, or have a new approach to production. They are Arrival, Canoe, and Naptera. These three companies are trying to enter the EV market in their own unique way. But in this video, among them, I will talk about the company that I am the most invested in and believe it can disrupt the car industry. My first principles is kind of a physics way of looking at the world. And what that really means is you kind of boil things down to the most fundamental truths and, and say, okay, what are we sure is true or, or as sure as possible is true? and then reason up from there. Mm -hmm. uh, that takes a lot more mental energy. Aptera Motors is a pre-IPO EV company that was founded in 2006 by Chris Anthony and Steve Frambro. They were very much ahead of its time and faced many challenges trying to bring the Aptera 2E into market before even Tesla. Ultimately, the two co-founders left the company due to financial outsiders coming in and changing their vision for the company. The company then slowly drifted into bankruptcy two years after the Department of Energy rejected Aptera's ATVM loan. Meanwhile, the two founders went on to create other successful business ventures only to regroup in 2019 to reborn Aptera. Recognizing the unique traits their vehicle could bring to the market, with EV technologies more advanced and the supply chain more established, they saw less obstacles to bring their dream to market. Their goal was simple, build an aerodynamic three-wheeled solar electric vehicle, creating an innovative design based on first principles that allows it to weigh 60% less than the competition by using lightweight resin composite materials. Its unique shape is derived to achieve efficiency while implementing overlooked solar technology. Trimmed out, they can use the 700 kilowatt solar panels on the car to charge up to 40 miles a day, producing more power than most Americans drive in a day. While if a Tesla had solar panels, it could only produce up to 50 miles because of its lower efficiency and weight. So theoretically, you could never have to charge your Aptera compared to other EVs in the market. If you don't believe me, check out the link in the description to their website and used a sun zone calculator. Aptara shared test track footage of the Alpha and Beta prototypes drag racing a Tesla Model 3 and an Audi R8 Spider. With a 0 to 60 of 3.5 seconds, Aptara managed to beat the Audi on the quarter mile test track. Although Aptara didn't provide a lot of information on the setups and conditions of every vehicle, this video sends the clear impression that Aptera isn't a slow car. Startup production is scheduled for the end of 2022, and you could actually pre-order and select the range and add-ons of your Aptera today. Something still unknowingly unavailable for Canoe that's supposed to start production at the end of this year. Starting at a base price of 25,000 and going up to 50,000, Aptera has four models with drive range between 250 and a thousand miles with the top trim. Aptera simply has the best price to range of the entire EV market. So with more than 27,000 people already reserving Aptera, this represents a potential $800 million in orders. When they do start production, they will have the most aerodynamic car on the road with a core drag coefficient of 0 0.13. Comparing that to a Tesla, which is 0.23, 
or even the most aerodynamic car in the market, the Mercedes EQS with 0.20. They are not just slapping solar panels onto an existing design like other automakers. It's designed from the ground up to be a solar powered car with efficiency first. Being a two passenger vehicle and having only three wheels, you think the Aptera doesn't have a lot of space, but you would be wrong. With 25 cubic feet of cargo space, you would see that the Aptera can fit quite a decent size. My main concern is that many of its components are produced out of house, like the electric motors. Building something with components built by other manufacturers can lead to unexpected delays and discrepancies that could cause delays in deliveries because of unfinished vehicles, something all too apparent in the other industry. Solar charging will have a realistic range. Cloudy weather, haze, low sand angles, and your location on the globe will mean you might not generate enough electricity to charge your batteries to the estimated 40 mile range. But I believe based on the latest webinar that Aptera has made some advancements in their solar cells to lessen these doubts. Some of you are not going to be 100% solar independent from your plug-in charging, but your cost per year of ownership of an electric car is still a 20th of an ICE car. It's clearly a two-seater, which can be a deal breaker for some who need to seat more than two people. You might also need a motorcycle license based on your state. This is because the Aptero only has three wheels to reduce rolling resistance, so it's classified as an autocycle. Out of the three EV companies I'm invested in, Aptera is the most transparent and communicative of the progress and changes of the vehicle. When I look at their news page with all the updates and clarifications, it makes Canoe look like vaporware up until the NASA deliveries. They are designing their vehicle with manufacturing in mind. This is why they are working with Sandy Monroe. It gives me peace of mind that they are working with Sandy Monroe to help with their designing and manufacturing strategy. Sandy Monroe and associates should help them get into production and scale quickly. He believes in the company so much that he has invested in the company, a very good sign as an investor in the company also. But I hear you saying it's a competitive market. How can this startup beat the big boys at their own game? Well, I say it doesn't have to. Aptera's philosophy is the opposite of the major manufacturers that only seem to increase their car weight every year. What we should be asking is why no other automakers are really thinking outside the box by using a teardrop design. Especially if gas prices continue to stay up and are predicted to go even higher. Efficiency will be king in the coming years. They have focused their design on aerodynamics, which is what many people have been waiting for. The clever design comes with a lot of trade-offs centered to maximize the range of the vehicle. Some people are going to think the unique style is weird and cool. Some people are going to think it's weird and ugly. But to me, the minor inconveniences will be overlooked by the target audience because the number one thing people really care about is range. Here is the CEO describing that. Problem is uh, if you look at what drives sales of electric vehicles, if you plot all the sales per month of, and per year of every electric vehicle sold in the US versus all the metrics you can think of, the most correlating metric is range. If you're interested in reserving an Aptera, please consider using my referral link and take advantage of getting $30 off your refundable pre-order. So basically, pre-order an, an Aptera for only $70 using the link in the description. I can imagine the freedom I can gain back by not having to worry about oil changes, high fuel cost, and possibly even charging. And honestly, with the specs of the 3 motor version, it can be viewed as a sports car, and that gets me excited.